the, the test of a prophet the Bible provides the ten, the 10 or 20 keys indicator that determines whether a person is truly receiving vision from God or from demon from El or from Lucifer himself. Now, in part one, I showed you a graphic where T.B. Joshua said the Holy Spirit gave him a false prophecy that the pandemic would end on 27th March. That was the report made by the Daily Sunday Report in Cape Town, as you can see on this graphic. Now, today, the continuation on the lovely day of the Sabbath, which is 9th May 2020, according to Roman calendar. Now, let us look at the test of a prophet the bible provides the key indicators that determine whether a person is truly receiving vision from god now according to the scriptures now this is the, the bible telling us now the true prophet of god uh, in the first part of this lecture i didn't read the bible i had to reserve this for part two number one makes prediction that comes to pass. That is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 9. Let us confirm from the Bible. The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then they shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Did that come from my head or from the Bible? Is from the Bible. Whatever Mr. T.B. Joshua said that the coronavirus would come to an end on 27th March 2020, if he was the true prophet of God, coronavirus, the man-made pandemic, the pandemic, which uh, Trump said it was artificially induced, would have end on 27th March. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Joshua. You failed your people. It didn't come to pass. Why? You know why. Let us continue. Let us look at uh, the second characteristics of a true prophet of God. They do not give their own private interpretation. That is according now to P 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 20 and 21 the Bible reads knowing this face that there is no privacy there is no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophets come, came not in old times by the will of man but on but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. This is the Bible now telling us this. I've just done two characteristics of the true prophet. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to read everything for you. I'll just give you a brief summary so that you identify whenever somebody prophesy, you compare to the law and to the testimony. If he speak a God and not to what the word of God so says there is no light in them now let us analyze this the rest of the passages because I'm not going to read everything I'm not going I don't want to chew much of your time I want to give people ample time to study their Bible right now we are living in the last days but people they don't they don't know that signs are for signs are fulfilling the Bible prophecy anything can happen Sunday law can happen and, uh, and by the way Sunday right now is not the mark of the beast. Unless when it, comes, when it becomes the law of the land, then followed martyrdom and persecution. That's when it is going to be the mark of the beast. Sabbath, that is the seal of God. Sunday is man-made. It, it is man-made tradition. The first day of the week, that's what they acknowledge the day of the Lord. It's not biblical. It's man-made tradition. Let us continue. We go to the third one. 
Glorify God rather than themselves. That is John chapter 16, verse 13. You go and take, take that in your Bible. Then we go to the next one now. The, the warning of the coming judgment. That is Isaiah chapter 24, verse 20 to 21. You can read that. Then you look at the Deuteronomy. Are obedient to the will of God. That is Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. Then have the Christ-like character. That, is, that one now, you're going to look into Matthew chapter 7, verse 16 to 20. You shall know them by their fruit, my friend. This is the fruit that T.B. Joshua gave us. We go to the next one. The message, the message that the, uh, uh, give messages that harmonize with the word of God. That is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. Those are the characteristics of the true prophet. They defile or teach the church. That is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3 to 4. Uh, if you look at another characteristic of the true prophet, is that teach that Jesus came in the flesh. Yeah, it's true. That is John 1, chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. And he's the creator of everything that you see, including me and you and me. Without Christ, things would have been made that was made. Now, they point out sin, that is Micah chapter 3, verse 5 to 8. And by the way, there are more characteristics of the true prophet that we can say. When they are prophesying or telling that this, when they are receiving vision, vision, God takes away the breath. They speak without the breath, but their eyes are wide open. But the God has taken the breath away from the true prophet of God. Now, as I said earlier on, I'm not here to embarrass T.B. Joshua, but I'm here to lead the people to the right source, which is the word of God, which is very important for you and me. In order for us to be saved, my brothers and sisters, we have to do what the will of God says or want. If you look at in the Bible, the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, it says, Here are the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandment of God and have testimony of Jesus Christ, which is the spirit of prophecy, which T.B. Joshua said it misled him, of which the Spirit of God doesn't mislead or past tense mislead anyone. Why? Jesus is righteous and he is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega. He is the creator of all things. He doesn't lie to anyone. If you obey him, he's, going, he's not going to lie to you. He's not going to give you false prophets. So my, my dear T.B. Joshua, do the will of God. God is not going to lie to you. Follow what the word of God says. Not what your thoughts says. You want to become famous rather than the word of God. God doesn't work like that. God works in humble people. And whenever I'm doing these lectures, if you're watching this lecture, I'm not here to embarrass you. I'm here to help you. I'm a sinner. Or we all have seen that we are fought short out of the glory of God. So all we need is the righteous and the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. I thank you, my brothers and sisters. Until next time.